Let's move on then to Jim. So Jim says, this was taken on a walk with the family down at Oldswater last week. I was snapping various forest scenes and this one I, I liked with the walls either side of the path leading into the woodland and the stone bridge over the burn. I had to brighten up a wee bit because it wasn't the best light. Critique welcome. Um, so, it, I, uh, right, sorry, flip across. <laughs> Got to remember to do that. Uh, so yes, this this I think uh, Jim has, has got it. I love the the, the composition. That, well, whereas Roberts was leaning slightly too much to the right, this is I feel leaning slightly to the left. It just feels like just want to straighten up a little bit. Um, but yeah, that idea of the path leading your eye into the picture is a really good one. Um, some. The potential there's lovely colors in this with the yellows on the trees and the green mosses but unfortunately you're right about the light the light is fairly dark and it's a real shame because what you really need here or now if you could get backlight that would be even more fantastic but even a side light if you had the light kind of streaming through the trees that's where you would get your your real contrast without the light you're always going to be slightly limited as to what you can actually do with this um let's just close that one from robert it's a kind of tricky one really i mean i all i can well first of all let me just um let's take the content away off at the moment and just i just want to kind of make that a little bit straighter <laughs> now i can breathe slightly easier um i don't know how really what else to do i mean there's there's things whereby okay yeah so what was i going to do if i take that into camera raw i think what i might do is add a bit of a vignette just to um draw the eyes into the path a little bit more something like that what i might also do is play with the clarity that kind of deepen um, not sure that's maybe overkill with the texture what about contrast Contrast maybe kind of adds a sort of slight bit of interest to it. Um, what else? I There's kind of different things going on here. I mean, if I take, not the levels, curves. As part of me wants to sort of, I think, if you kind of curve down a little bit, and actually allow for a little bit of slightly darker in the foreground, but you could sort of paint that out up in the... Um, Sort of some of the, the highlights, maybe bring in a little bit of the wall back in, something like that. Um, so we're just sort of darkening the foreground because the stones here uh, are really quite bright, so you probably don't need to brighten up everything. You can sort of selectively um, just allow these sort of tri because it's lighter at the back, then you, it helps to draw your eye down the path. The other thing about drawing the eye down the path would be to have an object, whether it was a dog running down the path or a person walking, something there to draw your eye in to this part of the image is really what you need to, to, to draw the eye down there. Um, another thing, of course, would have worked here, might have worked here, would have been missed. Um, how would you just again, I suppose, at this point, if I was doing a curves, something like that, if I kind of lighten that up now again that's too bright so i'll just darken that and now i want to selectively paint back in you could again kind of get a sort of slight misty effect just do something like that looks a little bit like it's a slightly misty day something like that you know adds another kind of effect. You can kind of see what it would be like on a day like that. Whether that necessarily massively improves over the original, I'm not sure, but it gives you an idea of kind of places to play with. I think the composition is a good composition. I like the walls, the path, the burn, the little stone uh, bridge, the sense that you, your eye is getting drawn down into the picture. Really, the rest of it comes down to light and like I said, maybe if you had a dog or a person or something down the path, your eye gets drawn down it, it's quite nice to have almost like a little reward at the end of the photo. 
So hope that gives you a couple of thoughts and ideas there, Jim.